Hello everyone, my name is Vos Jozef and I am Mr. Musette. If you are new here, I am a digital illustrator from Romania, Transylvania and in my free time I love to experiment with different traditional materials and art projects and the perfect place for this is here on YouTube. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. The link to all my social media accounts are in the description of this video. For this week's video I have a really fun project to share with you. I custom paint a pair of shoes with Posca paint markers. I really wanted to do this since I saw a few similar videos, but I didn't want to spend money on a pair of shoes only for a video. Recently I ordered for myself a few pair of shoes from Zara because they were on sale and one of them were these white shoes made of ecological leather so since I have an another pair of white shoes I said to myself why I shouldn't paint on these ones. I also have the Posca pens which I use rarely so this would be the perfect project to use them again. I have a separate video creating an illustration with Posca pens on paper. I will link the video in the right upper corner of this video if you would like to watch that as well. The most of the videos where people paint on shoes are creating some patterns or simpler designs. So I knew that I want to draw on them and create a cohesive design. The options were endless. This is why I didn't start this project sooner. If you are watching my videos or follow my work for a while, some of the elements of the design you might seen in the past in some other illustrations. Example is the moon and the sun which I painted on the front of the shoes are from the first mermaid illustration which I drew this year. I really like that, especially the grey and yellow combination. Also the bird with the rose instead of its head, it's an element which I like to reuse sometimes in my illustrations. From the beginning I wanted to use a limited color palette and the overall look to have that old school traditional tattoo design feel. I really like that tattoo style and often I get inspired from this kind of artworks. So now I will speak a little bit about the process and the struggles. So initially I tried to sketch out the illustrations on the letter with a mechanical pencil. But this letter has a little bit of texture. Not too much but the texture is there. So it's a little bit harder to draw on them with graphite pencil because it doesn't show up too much on it. So after a short period I gave up to sketch with mechanical pencil and I grabbed a black ballpoint pen. The Posca pens worked perfectly on this material. I needed to add only two layers of paint to get that bold and opaque layer of paint. Even the yellow worked really nicely. For the outlines and the black background I used two sides of permanent markers from Schneider, an S and an F size. And I am happy that I choose to use for this step a permanent marker and not a Posca pen. And here comes the last step when you need to seal the illustration with something. Because you want to use these shoes and you don't want just to keep them on a shelf. So I have a lot of this kind of water-based varnish from Pentart. 
They have glossy and matte varnish as well. In general, I use the glossy one when I create pins made of clay, but for shoes I wanted to use a matte one. And here I was a little bit afraid that when I will apply the varnish with the brush, all the Posca paint will be dissolved and will smudge all my work. Because both of the mediums, the Posca pens and the varnish are water-based. First, I tested out on a small spot to see how the varnish interact with the Posca paint and only in some small spots the paint was dissolved, which I could repair after the first layer of varnish dried. I think that if I would use a black Posca pen for the outlines and background as well, the end result would be disastrous. So I was happy that I took this decision from the beginning. I applied three layers of varnish, on each illustration to be sure that they are sealed properly and I will not be afraid to use them outside. This project took me around two days the painting part and the third day I only filmed the end result and I went out in the park here in the town where I live to take some shots with them outside as well. So if you will get to the end of this video, you can watch my modeling skills as well, which is hilarious. I really enjoyed to work on this project and I hope that you will enjoy watching all this process as well. Also, let me know what you think about the end result because I had some positive feedbacks on my social medias about them. Also let me know in the comment section if you would like to see me doing this again or if I should paint on other clothing as well and what that should be. Also if you are new here and you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new project. Thank you for watching and do not forget, life is a song illustrated.